All right, welcome back. Perhaps this was the year that the Oscars died. It sure seems like at the 93 or 93rd annual Academy Awards, the ratings plummeted to a record low this past Sunday, dropping 58% compared to last year, and there's a long list of viewers who are not satisfied. That includes Pierce Morgan. He expressed his thoughts on Monday in an opinion piece for the Daily Mail. Here's what he wrote. R.I.P. the Oscars. These grim, woke, ravaged, fun, devoid awards were a howling, dull train wreck that killed the Hollywood dream stone dead. The tragic truth is that the Oscars, as we know it, died last night, woke to death by a craven collective desire from those involved to preach, not entertain, not entertain, to lecture rather than make us laugh, and to virtue signal instead of perform. But pandemic or not, award show numbers in general have been declining over the last few years. This year's Grammy Awards was the lowest rated in history. So is woke culture causing the death of these awards show? Is there something else at stake here playing into this? Longtime Democratic James Carville telling Vox, that, quote, wokeness is a problem and everyone knows it. It's hard to talk to anybody today, and I talk to lots of people in the Democratic Party who doesn't say this, that wokeness is a huge problem, but they don't want to say it out loud because they'll get clobbered or canceled. And that's kind of the point, right? Let's welcome in our brand power team now, media relations expert and the founder of Allison May Public Relations, Allison Maloney. She is a Newsmax contributor and back again as well, branding expert and applied research psychologist, Dr. John Tantillo. Allison, John, great to see you both. Great to be here. Right. Thank you. So uh, I think Pierce Morgan saying in his you know, signature way what a lot of us felt about the Oscars you know, I, I didn't see a reason at all to watch this year, and I didn't recognize Allison in any of the movies. And I guess maybe I'm just not cultured enough to get it. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're very cultured, John. I think you, you're you thinking, like a lot of us were thinking, oh, the problem with these award shows, you have the Grammys, you have the Oscars, you have all of these shows that they're taking and they're putting politics and social issues in these shows. People want to watch these shows to be able to escape, to be able to be entertained, to be able to listen to who's presenting and what the speeches are, not have information just slammed down our throat about what we should do in, in politics and all of these issues that, that we're dealing with in the news. Yeah. John, you know, there was one moment we did play a clip of Tyler Perry uh, talking about the fact that he doesn't hate anyone, white, black, police or otherwise. And that was a nice moment. Uh, but, you know, when you look at all these award shows, there are so few of those moments that is really kind of a, you know, a touchstone, a cultural touchstone for all of America. This is, there's not a lot there that, that appeals to a cross-section of America. Uh, well, you and uh, Allison uh, hit the nail on the head. This is called show business. It's not show art. And people want to be entertained. They don't want to be lectured to. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, be having fun. And this crew that's, uh, that's running the uh, Academy Awards, I think, have forgot that basic brand characteristic. It's to entertain, not to lecture. Yeah, you know, Allison, I thought it was very telling that during this year's award ceremony, but again, which I didn't watch, but I was on Twitter, what was trending was an old uh, monologue from Ricky Gervais, who hosted it the last time he said and he would never be allowed back. And I think that just kind of shows you, and that, that's a check right there on the producers of this year's Oscars, that everyone was kind of pining for Ricky Gervais's, you know, anti-politically correct speech he gave a couple years ago. Yeah, people people want that. And it's going to be interesting to be a, a comedian or to even host an event like this, because if you offend someone and it, it happens to be somebody on the left, uh, you're going to be canceled. And, and that's a big fear, I think, of any host in the upcoming uh, award ceremonies. Yeah. All right, uh, guys, great to see you. We appreciate it. Brand Power every Wednesday here on John Bachman Now. Allison Maloney and John Tantilla. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.